Hey, what's going on? Hey, bud, and welcome to another episode of Beholder. Where we left off, we took that dude out of here. Jacob was his name, I'm pretty sure. It's definitely not Carl, because I'm Carl. Gonna peek through here. Which, which cool? Which cool? Which cool? Okay, let's check my tasks. Uh, call the ministry and report the completion of your task. Okay, directive. Is it illegal to read or own book by on a book by Paul Williams. Well, that's uh, it's kind of messed up. My new tenant is in. Let's go. Let's talk to the ministry right quick. Yo, what's good, ministry? I said, what's good, ministry? Right, it would not work. <laughs> Reference. What would you like to know? Uh, nothing actually. I'm gonna dial the number. Dial the number. Report a task. Ministry of order. Congratulations, your task was a success. Congratulations, your task was a success. As a reward, we are transferring the following sum to your account: one thousand dollars and two hundred and fifty reputation. Remember, if you miss a call from the Ministry of Order, you'll be fined. You must be in your apartment at all times and answer the phone when it rings, even if you're dying. You, do you understand? Okay, yeah. You got rid of the violator. Now survey your tenant's opinions on Shimmer. Find out what other people think about him. Document his characteristics after you're done with the survey. Get to work. Okay, so I talked to everybody about Shimmer. Will you play with me? Not now, Martha. Lost toy. What happened, sweetheart? Something bad happened, Dad. I lost Naira. Naira? Naira? It's nowhere to be found. Who's Naira? It's my doll. It's my favorite doll, Dad. Will you help me find it? You scared me, Martha. Where did you last play with it? At home. Naira's too small to walk outside. Find her, please. Okay. Let me check your room. Have it somewhere in your room. Like a big old silly. Bring a big old silly silly. I found Naira. I think. Taking a big old sip of cocoa. I, I want to talk to my daughter, please. Yes, father. Uh, do you need anything? I have an issue, father. What do you want? Economics class have started, and we're starting to give. And we are. I can't fucking read. Economics classes have started, and we were given a list of books to read. Books I need for school. I stopped by the bookstore, and they don't have these books. I heard I could get used ones at the market, but they cost a fortune. Can you ask your friends? Perhaps someone you know has these books. You talk to wise people. Thinking about what I can do for you. Okay. Not now, Martha. What's your doll's name? I miss Naira so much. Will you find her? I already found her. Here she is. Thanks, Dad. I thought of a great game. Want me to tell you about it? Naira will be a miner buried under rubble, and I'll be the rescuer. What a game. Maybe you'd better play with your letter blocks. I'll build a coal mine out of the letter blocks. Okay. So I also got to gather intel on Shimmer. Who the fuck is Shimmer? Carl Shimmer? I'm Shimmer. Hello. Meet. I'm here to introduce myself. I'm Carl, the landlord. I'm honored. I'm Dr. L. Aloysius Spack. Aloysius Spack, a physician. You must have heard about me. The entire city did. Yeah, sure, of course I heard. Please don't praise me, I was just doing my duty. Just doing my duty. Yeah, that's great. Let me know if you need anything. Oh, what problems could I possibly have? Nothing. You're very busy. You're a little suspicious. Ask about Clive Shimmer. Dearest Carl, I'm happy to see you. How are you doing? And how is the family? Everything is fine, thanks. I wanted to ask about so much joy. That's a rare thing nowadays. I'm soothing myself. Alios Alosius. I'm here to talk about Alo Aloysius. You can't keep worrying about the whole world. The state takes care of us. About your neighbor. But no, I keep worrying about our neighbors. I mean, all people. You know, uh... Sorry, I got carried away. So what did you want to talk about? About Klaus Schimmer from Apartment 1. I just moved in here, dear. I haven't even met all my neighbors yet. I'm sure they're all great people, and your, um... Strauss Healer is a great man, too. Klaus Schimmer. Of course. If only... Dear Mr. Schlimber, 
Smoked less. Smoking kills! I don't like this guy. I don't feel good about Aliosis. Alia, Alia, uh, Alosius. I don't know how to say that fucking name. What do you want from the archivist? Get acquainted. Let me introduce myself. My name is Carl. I'm the new manager of the building. Mark Rannick is a respected archivist. I have to live in this disgusting apartment. I hope you'll put everything here in order. I'll do my best. Try harder. You need this more than me. I don't like him either. Fucking asshole. That's what Klaus. I want to ask you about Klaus Shimmer. Why do you want to know? Vague reply. I don't know anything you don't know. Moreover, curiosity is a terrible sin. I had a co-worker who was always poking his nose into other people's business and documents. What happened to him? He was sent to jail. You've learned more than you have to. Goodbye, young man. I don't like that guy. Good afternoon. Ask about Klaus. I want to ask you about Klaus Shimmer. Does he bother you? He's a person of worth. He helped me to acquire a nice bottle of Xeris. He's an expert in wine, unlike my grandpa. So uh, I've obtained some info on Klaus. And I have to profile him. Okay. I'm pretty sure there's no one in here. Come on, find something. Find something. Artist. He's an artist. <gasps> Don't come in here, 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 okay. They're not coming in here, like fuck. I got scared, I got so scared. Let me get out of here, right quick. Oh, I have some cameras. Oh, I have some cameras. I'm gonna buy a two, I'm gonna buy like three more, four more. Going back inside. Don't worry about what I'm doing, Aliosis, Alosius. Just installing some cameras. So I can keep an eye on them. How do you zoom out again? Like that. Okay, I want to keep an eye. To the door. In case... The Shimmers come back home. While I'm searching their shit. Book? Oh. Okay, get out of that. Ah. Theater mask. Yes, yes, yes. Profiling, profiling, profiling. Okay. It's my son coming home. He's not going to come in here. Huh. A foreign letter, huh? I guess I'm done in here. Alright, let me talk to my wife. What, Carl? Domestic problems. I need your help, honey. I can't find a big enough saucepan. I searched every nook and cranny and I have no idea where it is. Maybe someone stole it. Should we call the police? Call the police because of an old saucepan? Don't even think of this. I must have left it in our old house. If you say so, can you ask the tenants about the saucepans? I hope they won't reject the new manager. I'll make a compo for Martha and bring it back. Okay, I'll ask the neighbors about a saucepan. All right. So, books and saucepan. Look, I know y'all just came in, but I gotta talk. Hello. Ask about the saucepan. Can you do me a favor? Can I borrow your saucepan? My wife wants to make a compo, but we lost our saucepan while moving in. I have a suitable saucepan. Here it is. Thank you. Thank you, I'll bring it back. There's no need for this. My husband and I live alone and we don't touch this. Please accept this as a housewarming gift. I feel like an asshole after just installing so much surveillance into her fucking house and she gives me a saucepan. Carl. You're an educated person, Klaus. Where can I find textbooks on economics? The university gave my son a list of books to read, but none of the stores carry them. The library is an option, but the line is always really long. Oh, the issue with the library is well known to me. It's not just the line. The library workers also have to like you. Otherwise, they'll send you away without any explanation. But I can help you. I have books from when I worked on the... Counting Bureau. I'd be happy if they helped you your son study. Everyone should pursue a higher education. Too bad few people agree. The Shimmers have helped me out. You saved my son. Thank you, Klaus. And not only my son, but my wallet, too. <laughs> All the best, Carl. See you later, Klaus. School books. Have you found anything out about the books, Father? Here are your books. 
Well, I'll get to work. I've never even dreamed of such wealth. I might not go to the rat's nest after all. To the library, I mean. Now, Anna. What, Carl? Saucepan. Have you found the saucepan, Carl? Yes. Yes, Maria Shimmer from Apartment 1 saved us. Spare no sugar for the compote. It looked like water last time. It looks like water because we have neither sugar nor apples. It's not my fault that you couldn't get a provision card for sugar. Cheer up, sweetheart. Now we have enough sugar. Okay. I just got a trophy called Family Guy. We must profile Klaus Shimmer. So let me do that. Desk. Let me profile a tenant. Klaus Shimmer. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Send. Yeah, what now? What's this? Oh. Profile received. Okay. Hello. Ask, how's it going? Are you okay? Oh, busy, busy, busy. Patients fight over me. Are you a doctor? That's the real one. Don't you doubt it. I can cure even a healthy man. I'd say especially healthy. Any education? Are you kidding? I've dedicated my life to treating people. Your doubts hurt me. Sorry, this is a demanding job. How can you, dear? Here's a good way for you to relax. Just be reasonable. It's whiskey. Hello. Alios is solitude. You wanna talk? I have a request, a very private one. I'm all ears, Alosius. Due to the demands of my profession, I have no time for personal matters. Saving people 24 seven is my civic duty. I know it's hard to believe that looking at me, but I'm very shy around women. I'm confused and blushing and every inch of my extremely gifted self is sweating profusely. And what can I do? Get you some deodorant? Your wife is amazing, Carl. You clearly know about dealing with women. I'm lonely. Find me a woman, Carl. She'd be a good woman to have in the bedroom and in the kitchen. Oh my god. Okay, so we just gotta find this dude, a girl, and I think we've done that. Hello! Talk about loneliness. Any preference? Who would you like to meet? Anyone! I found one for you. Who is she? Uh, Rose Renek's niece. I can't wait to meet her. She should visit her aunt soon. That's great, what a relief. I will no longer be lonely. I got a new government directive? What is it? As imported soda is prohibited. Mystery of order. It's time to act, Comrade Carl. You must evict Klaus Shimmer. Why? What will happen to his wife? We don't care about her. Do what you think is best. I said, the How can I evict him? Talk with Shimmer. We'd be fine with him moving out. It would be better if you report him when he violates our directives. This is your duty, Comrade Carl. Why am I... I understand. Talk with you later. Why? I don't want to evict Carl. Or Klaus. I keep calling him fucking Carl. He's not Carl. Hello. What do you need? Tell me straight. Carl, did you receive an assignment to spy on me? I can't tell him about the Ministry of Order. It's over for you, bourgeois minion. I was told to evict you from the building. One wrong move and you're on the street. Pack your things and leave this house on good terms. Do you want to evict me? It's your right. You can't evict me without a reason. I was told you spy on me. Is that true? Excuse yourself. You work for the government, Carl. People expect you to be willing to do whatever it takes to get the job done. You disappointed me. We have nothing to talk about. Then get out. After what you said, Comrade Carl, there's no point in talking further. Burn in hell. No need to be snappy, Carl. You know who I am and what I can do. Let's start over. You're a real rat face, Carl, first. First, you tell people such things and then use your authority against them. It's unthinkable. Life and peace of mind cost more than that. Very well. Let's leave this unpleasant story where it belongs in the past. Hello. I got something. Who the fuck are you? Hello, dear. Uh, hello? 
What are you doing here? What do you want? I'm Sarah Watermack, the Radex niece. I'm here to meet the doctor. I have nowhere to stay, so I'll be living here. In which apartments does Alio Alio Alosius live? I can't let you go to Aliosis yet. We need to talk first. Stay here. Where would I go? I have nowhere to stay. Uh, let's go talk to Aloysius. Yo, homie. Come on, Aloysius. Hello. There's a woman on your doorstep. She says she came to see you. Really? That's strange. Let's see. There we go. We found you somebody, Aloysius. Oh, why am I fucking knocking on the door? I need to break in. I need to plant the evidence. <sighs> Not for her. Or is it for both? It is for both. Perfect. Oh, I can't believe I'm about to do this. This is slimy. What would you like to know? Oh wait, that's right. End conversation. I need to go here. Book. Write a report. For Klaus Schimmer. Evidence, Apple, send. Why am I doing this? Oh, he has to be home. Okay. Better off knowing that, honestly. Is the apple still there? No, it's gone. Hello. What he needs. Tell me straight, Carl. Did you receive an assignment to spy on me? Yeah. You must be more careful, Comrade Klaus. I'll get right to the point. I've received an order to evict you from the building. What? They want to evict me from my apartment? That's unthinkable. If I could, I would have left this pokey hole a long time ago. Well, my problem shouldn't bother you. Thanks for the warning. What are you going to do now? Offer help. I want to help you. Why don't you leave the city? This is suspicious, Carl. Why would you care about me? I insist on talking. I'm not ex asking out of curiosity. I want to help you. I'm being hunted. It's hard to believe anyone is interested in my troubles. I was sent to the tobacco shop. To that tiny wooden booth near the fish market. They took my absentee certificate. Without it, I'm stuck here. You understand. What's an absentee certificate? You should know such things, Carl. This is a document you need to either enter the, enter the strategic facilities or leave the, uh, leave the city. Railway stations, ports, and roads with checkpoints are all close to me. What's an FCT? You should know such things, Carl. Uh, why don't you take it? You won't believe me. I received a response from the Ministry. The documents were sent to the archives for the data update. They said I could obtain them there. I went to the archives. They said there are no documents left. I spent a week in line to see an inspector about submitting a detection application. Two months later, I was told I'd used the wrong form for my application, and they were out of the one I needed. Damn it. You mean the documents are lost in the archives? Yeah, the documents are in the archives. They say it's a plot to drive visitors crazy. I don't know if that's a joke or not. The Ministry of Distribution has clean hands. There's nothing we can do about the archives. Let's see what I can do about your absentee certificate. How the fuck am I going to get shit from the archive? I'm going to talk to you. Bring your wife from the archivist. Oh! Do you work in the archives, old man? What is it to you? You know, this isn't even without me. I need your help. One good man can't obtain a document from the archives. Who are you talking about? The documents of good people aren't taking to the archives. Don't feed me a line. To the total true story. I'm talking about Shimmer from Apartment 1. He fell from grace with the state. They took his absentee certificate and now he's stuck here. I don't like him. He works in the tobacco shop but has never given me tobacco for free. He behaves like this and speaks rudely because he's afraid. Help me. Bring me his absentee certificate. They can't live without it, understand? Deal, but you owe me a bottle of whiskey. I won't be able to access the confiscated documents without it. I shouldn't have fucking goddamn fucking sold that shit. Ah. 
I'm fast as fuck, boy! Oh, finally, he's fucking here. My compliments. What are you selling today? Take a look. You better have that fucking whiskey I sold you, bud. Oh my god. Never selling anything again. Is he... Okay, he's probably up in his apartment. Which was up here. Knock on the door. Knock, knock. I have to talk to you. What do you want from the archivist? Bring me the whiskey and I'll bring you the documents. Here's a bottle, keep quiet. Good choice. Okay, I'll get the paper, come back later. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna leave this episode of Beholder here. I've been playing for a good bit. And all I've been doing was running around and talking to dudes. So, the story's getting somewhat interesting. The Ministry is trying to get me to evict Klaus. But I don't want to evict him. I'm gonna help the homie out. I'm gonna get him his absentee certificate. So, in the meantime, I want to thank each and every single one of you for coming by and watching. I appreciate every single one of you for stopping by and vibing out with me while I play through Beholder. And I will see you guys in the next episode. But until then, I will see you guys later. Bye-bye. <gasps>